Beat frequency of two vibrating wires. A uniform 165 newton bar is supported horizontally by two identical wires A and B as seen in the figure. A small 185 newton cube of lead is placed three-fourths of the way from A to B. The wires are each 75 centimeters long and have a mass of 5.5 grams. If both of them are simultaneously plucked at the center, what is the frequency of the beats that they will produce when vibrating in their fundamental? So let's start with identifying all the forces acting on this system. We will have obviously a tension on wire A, a tension on wire B. This is a uniform bar, so center of mass is in the middle. We have 165 newtons weight and three fourths of the way from A. So at a distance of L over four from point P, we have the cube, uh, 185 newtons and we have an equilibrium situation so the net force on the y-axis uh, should be equal to uh, ta plus tb minus 165 minus 185 equals to zero therefore the tensions should add up to 350 newtons now consider the torque net torque uh, with respect to point p okay so we're taking the torque with respect to point p now uh, ta is at a distance l from point p it's uh, pointing upward so using the right hand rule if we go from the pivot point to the application point of the force r cross with F gives us a minus K hat direction for the torque. So this is going to be L T A in minus K hat direction. Perpendicular distance is L. Now, as for the torque due to these weights, uh, we have a perpendicular distance L over 2 for 165 newtons, L over 4 for 185 newtons. And the vector from the pivot point to the application point cross with the weight, uh, uh, the gravitational force gives us a torque in plus k hat direction. Using the right hand rule, we can see that it will be uh, opposing the torque due to tension A. So uh, for 165 Newton, we have perpendicular distance L over 2, 165. For 185 Newton, we have L over 4, 185. Both torques are in K hat direction and they should add up to uh, zero. So L's will cancel here and we will find uh, that uh, ta if we take this ta to the right hand side uh, ta will be equal to 165 divided by 2 plus 185 divided by 4 so it will be 128.75 newtons and the tension on wire B will be 350 minus tension on wire A. So this is 350 minus 128.75. So tension on wire B, we find 221.25 newtons. Now, these uh, wires will be vibrating in their fundamental mode. So what is the boundary condition? The two end uh, points are fixed. So the fundamental mode is a node, anti-node, node. So we will have an oscillation uh, like this. So this will be oscillating like that. Node, anti-node, node. So that will be basically our fundamental mode here. All right, so 
the distance between two consecutive nodes is lambda over 2. So lambda 1 over 2 will be equal to the length of the wire. The length of the wire was given as uh, 0.75 meters. Uh, so we can see it's 75 centimeters long each. So this will give us for the wavelength lambda 1, 1.5 meters. Now, uh, propagation uh, speed of uh, waves on A will be lambda 1 times the frequency of oscillation of wire A. So FA is basically 1 over lambda 1 square root tension on A divided by mass per unit length. Now, what is the mass per unit length? These wires were 5.5 grams each, so 5.5 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms divided by 0.75 meters. And the frequency on wire B will be 1 over lambda 1, a square root of the tension on wire B divided by the same mu, because they are identical wires. Okay, so frequency on A is 1 over uh, 1.5. Uh, then we have um, mu, which is 5.5 uh, times 10 to minus 3 divided by 0.75. So 0.75 goes upstairs. Multiplied by tension, 128.75 on wire A. And then we take the square root. So this frequency is 88.3 Hertz. The frequency on wire B is 1 over 1.5. Now we have uh, 0.75 times tension on wire B, 221.25 divided by 5.5 10 to minus 3 kilograms square root and this turns out to be 116 hertz so the beat frequency when they are plugged together is absolute value of delta f which is 116 minus 88.3 we find a beat frequency of 27.7 .7 hertz Okay, so we were given two vibrating wires. Uh, they are identical wires, A and B. They're attached to a bar, uniform bar, which carries a cube three-fourths of the way from wire A. The mass and length of these wires are given, therefore mass per unit length is given. Uh, we plug them at the same time at their center so that they oscillate in the... Uh, fundamental mode so we, we will have both of them oscillating in their fundamental mode which is node anti-node node because that's the boundary condition uh, of course they will have uh, the same uh, mode set up here now if you look at the net force on the y-axis the tensions on the two wires should be balancing the total weight and if we consider the torque with respect to any point, for instance, point P, uh, the torque due to tension A is L times TA in minus k hat direction. The torque due to 165 newtons is L over 2, 165 in plus k hat, and L over 4, 185 plus k hat. The torque should add up to zero because we have equilibrium. And this gives us for the tension uh, 165 over 2 plus 185 over 4 and tension B can be found using this relationship and uh, the fundamental mode is node anti-node node, node, uh, node anti-node node so lambda 1 over 2 the distance between two nodes is the length of the wire so lambda 1 is 1.5 for both of them the, the propagation speed B is equal to lambda times F uh, so the frequency is 1 over lambda square root v. 1 over lambdas are the same. The 
uh, square root of tension over mu, 1 over lambda times v, uh, will be different because we have different tensions. So when we substitute these different tensions, we see that uh, one is vibrating at 88.3 hertz, the other one 116 hertz. Since they're vibrating together at the same time, they will produce a beat frequency of delta F, which is 27.7 hertz.